Hello, it's Friday, June 8th, and it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. Uh, we're getting close to the end, and the activity this week has kind of shown that. We'll have lots of committee meetings, moving lots of bills, which is usually an indication that we're getting close to the end when people are trying to get their stuff moved before we run out of time. Uh, we still haven't heard that committees are going to be shut down, which is the clearest indication that we are leaving. So I don't think it'll be next week, but maybe the week after that, but uh, definitely sometime before the end of June. This week, we saw a lot of activity around health care issues. Uh, the first thing that you've probably seen in the, in the news already this week was about the budget. And as we talked about before, the budget had passed the week uh, previous to this. Uh, we did report an error about how the screenings were going to be compensated or paid for, and we're working for a solution on that. Uh, but the governor vetoed the budget this week on Wednesday, sent it back to the legislature. The Senate has already overridden the governor's veto, and we expect the House to override that veto also sometime the first of next week. In addition to that, we've seen bills move on telemedicine. Uh, one that was going to define telemedicine further uh, not compensate or mandate the compensation for any telemedicine, but also study it some more. That's been reduced down to just a study uh, of a whole variety of different things related to telemedicine. We've also seen two different graduate medical education bills move forward, one specifically around rural health. Uh, both of those bills have been discussed but have not passed through a chamber yet. Uh, we also saw the HOPE Act come out and run through two different committees this week, and you'll remember I talked to you last week, that's the Heroin and Opioid Prevention and Enforcement Act. It's kind of phase two of the STOP Act that we saw during the last legislative session. Uh, that bill has now become much more about what is no longer in it than what is in it. And you can look at our legislative blog and have a greater understanding of what was taken out of that bill. But the gist of it is that local law enforcement is going to have uh, opportunities for bona fide specific investigations to go in directly to the control substance reporting system and get that information in a more timely way than having to go through a court order or the SBI, uh, but yet still have oversight to make sure that that is not being abused in any way, shape, or form. Um, in addition to that, we've had a lot of people uh, from our uh, side of things down at the legislative building again this year. Our White Coat Wednesday was full of leadership scholars from across the state. That was really wonderful to have them here on a day where lots and lots of different healthcare issues were being discussed. Uh, also this week, the medical group managers had their advocacy day and had about 35 uh, managers from across the state here. And we also saw a, a good number of physician leaders from healthcare systems uh, here throughout the week with their, uh, very, representing their various systems on a whole number of different issues. So it was great to see white coats all throughout the week walking around the building and talking about uh, different legislative issues. So like I said, things are moving really fast, and we're expecting it to only be faster over the next couple of days. So if you want an update more often than this once a week video, be sure to look at our legislative blog, because that's where we're updating things as it's happening. We're updating which committees they passed and how the bills have changed, so you can see exactly what's going on, or even get further detail from what I've described here. Um, so check out the legislative blog, and we'll be back with you next week with another update. Have a good one.